So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I've made over $2 million from a total of 13 sales from the document forgery. As you guys see, I have over $75 million in the game. And one of the businesses that I started off when I first started playing the game was the document forgery. It's part of the motorcycle clubhouse. So if you guys have don't have a motorcycle clubhouse, make sure you guys go to Maze Foreclosure and then go to clubhouses over here and then choose a clubhouse to your liking. And if you guys don't know how that works, I'm gonna leave my motorcycle clubhouse guide video link in the description below. If you've gone to your clubhouse and purchased your business from your laptop over there, then you'll be prompted to do a setup mission for your business. All right, so once you're in your motorcycle clubhouse, you're gonna wanna head to the laptop over here. And once you open up the, your businesses over here, then you can go to buy businesses over here. And we're going to be looking at the forgeries in this video. So here are all the locations and the prices for the different locations with the lowest being Grapeseed for 650,000, Toledo Bay for 732,000 or Elysian Island for 975,000. Now the location that I bought is 1,235,000. And the locations you can just check them out on the map and then see where they are located So like as you guys see over here the cheaper locations are located around the northern area of the map So like Sandy Shores where the more expensive locations towards like Lysian Island for example are located more towards the city and I'm going to be going outside now and showing you guys the locations of my motorcycle club businesses. Now as you guys see, my clubhouse is located over here in the beach. And then as you guys see, my counterfeit cash factory, for example, my lockup over there, my nightclubs over here, my arcades over there, my agency is right over there. My CEO building is right over here as well. And we have the grass factory, we have the document forgery, that's the location that I have for 1.2 mil. And then we have the Walter White's lab over there. So those are the different businesses and we have the agency business uh, that I own and I have them located all towards the city. So I believe I have the most expensive locations in, in the game for each business and I'll be going over and making business guides for each business. So if you're interested, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Whereas the more mid-range to low, lower range properties um, in terms of price are like located around this area of the map and scattered around over here in, in that area of the map. So now you may be asking which location is the best and it actually doesn't matter. So the location, it really just it depends on your personal preference. If you have a location that's more like in the north, which is it's a cheaper location, the only downside is that you have to travel there, but then you're gonna have the locations like the resupply missions and the sales be geared towards the city. Whereas if you have like a business in the city, when you do the resupply missions or the sell missions, then you're gonna have to drive like to San Blaine County and Sandy Shores. So if you have an office in the north, north, you're gonna have like resupply missions and sell missions to the south. If you have an office in the south or in the city, then you're gonna have resupply missions and sales to the north. So the location really doesn't matter if you're starting out then just go for the ones that are personal preference you've got in your business you're gonna to have to come to your laptop over here for each business that you have but for the document forge you're gonna to have to come over to your laptop over here and then you're gonna to have to do a setup mission and once you've done your setup mission that's when you're gonna have the office staff like you guys see over here start working and that's when you're going to have one free bar of supplies so your first setup mission is going to provide you a bar of supplies and then after that you're going to have to either buy supplies or then do resupply missions so the way the supplies work are you can buy supplies for uh, generally seventy five thousand dollars if they're if the supply bar is fully empty for this week, because it's a Rockstar event week, which changes every Thursday, uh, supplies are 50% off, but that's gonna be changing. So if you have an empty supply bar, you can buy supplies for 75,000, or you can steal supplies for one third of the supply bar. As you guys see, there are one, two, three, four, five, five different bars of supplies and five bars of product. So 
doing a resupply mission refills about one third of your bar so you're gonna have to do around three resupply missions which are gonna take you bet anywhere between five to ten minutes um, depending on how many people you have with you or what vehicles you have so if you have like an oppressor a buzzard or a sparrow that's gonna help you do the missions a lot faster but if you only have like a vehicle or a car and you're doing it solo it'll take you between five to ten minutes top five to fifteen minutes per mission for doing the resupply missions I usually would recommend you buying supplies like if there's an empty supply if you have an empty supply bar but I would only recommend buying supplies after you have the equipment upgrades but for the document forgery itself since this is a beginner business and since this is the least profitable business in the motorcycle club I highly recommend that you guys don't buy supplies for this business that if you're a new player just starting out and you want to make money with this business then just do the resupply missions So just do the resupply missions because the profit margins for this business aren't that great. We'll be going over those shortly in this video, but first let's talk about the upgrades. So the two upgrades we're going to want to get for this business are the equipment upgrade and the staff upgrade. Now the equipment upgrade is $550,000, the staff upgrade is $195,000, and the security upgrade really doesn't matter because it's not going to affect your business um, at the end of the day. The reason why the equipment upgrade is important is because it's going to just increase your overall quality of your product and it's going to increase your overall productivity of your business. So you're just going to make more money in the long run. The same thing with your staff. The staff is going to increase your production rate of your business and improve the overall quality. So these two upgrades are really important to get. Like I said, don't worry about the security upgrade. The security upgrade really doesn't add any value to your business. If you have extra cash that you can burn through and you have really have nothing to spend it on, then purchase the security upgrade. But the only two upgrades that matter are the equipment upgrade and the staff upgrade. Now, if you want to sell your stock, all you have to do is go down over here and then you can sell your stock. If you're looking to sell your stock and sell your supply solo, I would wait until you have around one or two product bars full and then I would sell them solo. So that's what I would recommend if you're a solo player. Otherwise, if you have two or three friends that can help you out, like you guys take turns, doing helping each other out doing sales for your each other's businesses then I would recommend you wait until you have a full product bar and then just head on over to your laptop when you're ready to sell go to the sell stock and then always choose the further location because that way you're getting more money for you're you're getting making more money for your business and I currently believe it's double money double RP right now so the numbers are a little bit skewed for how much money you can actually make with this business but with the upgrade costs, we'll be we talking about the upgrade costs now. Now with no upgrades, if you sell local or you sell remote, you can make around $16,000 profit per hour. And you can sell remote for $90,000. Now with the equipment upgrades, you can make around $100,000 profit per hour. I mean, you can make around $24,500 profit per hour to do a sale of 108000 And then with all the both equipment and staff upgrades, you can make profit of about $38,500 per hour and choose to sell remotely for $126,000. Now the way the product and supply bars work is that you just have to wait for the supply bar to go down and the product bar will go up. You can be doing anything in GTA Online as long as you're playing GTA Online. This moment you log off or the moment you switch games, your motorcycle club businesses and your nightclub business will production will be put to a halt. You can also run this business through the nightclub business by assigning a technician uh, to acquire goods for this business through the nightclub. If you guys are unfamiliar with how that works, I'm gonna leave my nightclub video guide in the description down below. So make sure you guys check that out. And through my nightclub business, I've been over to accumulate over $36 million. And the staff upgrade are gonna set you back another $745,000. And if you guys want to get all the upgrades, then you that's going to set you back like $1,030. All in all, all in all, the document forger really isn't worth it. But if it's one of those businesses you want to add to your novelty collection, then you might as well. If you have nothing better to spend your money on in the business or you just enjoy the having the business or like the roleplay aspect of this.
there are definitely better businesses to spend your money on in GTA Online. I'll definitely be coming out with updated guides for those as well. But this was one of the businesses that I did start out with in the beginning when I was first playing the game. So it's up to you whether you or not you want to purchase this business, but your money is definitely better spent around buying like a Kasatka or import export business from the CEO side of things or even a special cargo warehouse than buying a document forgery. I'll be coming out with some more business guides shortly for you guys. I hope this video helped you guys out. And if it did, please make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button, man. I'll be coming out with some more GTA Online content for you guys shortly. Your boy Kosi out. Peace.